Adding images. There are two ways to add images to your Moodle course and both of them need you to have the editing turned on either by clicking the button top right or by scrolling down and in the administration block clicking the link turn editing on. If at the top of your course page you then see a message saying that you can drag and drop files you can use the first method. If you don't see that you can use the second method. In the section on reading, I'm going to add a little graphic which I have over on the right here on my desktop. When you're adding images, it's important to make sure that you have permission to add them or that they are Creative Commons or public domain. It's useful also to get them the right size for the Moodle course before you upload them. I click the configure icon of the reading section and this takes me to Moodle's Atto editor. Note that we need to use the Atto editor to drag and drop our image. So I simply put my cursor on the image, click to hold it and then drag it into the topic section summary. When it's saved, we can see the graphic in the reading section. An even quicker way is to drag an image directly onto the course page. So I'll do that with the second image to go into the speaking section. When I drag it in, I get a message asking what I want to do with the file. I want to add the image to the course page and so when I click upload the image displays in a label and we can drag this to a position that we want. If you're not able to upload with drag and drop let's look at the other method. I'm going to add an image in the listening section of my course. So I'm going to add it to the topic summary again, so I click the configure icon and then in the Atto editor toolbar I click the icon which looks a bit like a mountain. It's the icon for uploading an image and then when I click on it I'm brought to a box where there is the button browse repositories. This takes us to Moodle's file picker which we look at in a separate video. I simply want to upload the chosen graphic from my computer so I choose upload a file and then click the button which says choose file or browse depending on your browser and then I select the image. We could save it with a different name if you want, change the author if you want, change the license if it's not appropriate and then click the button to upload this file. We need to add a description or if we don't think it needs a description we can tick the box. We can change the size, change its alignment and then when we save the image it's displayed. So here are two ways of adding images to your course page by drag and drop or by using the icon in the text editor and the file picker.